in different ways. And so when chickens would go on sale at the grocery store, I wanted to get a lot of them and put them in the freezer. And I never really paid any attention before to what I was doing, but I, would, I began to notice. God began to call my attention to the fine print where it would say on the coupon limit, three chickens per family, please. <laughs> but I didn't want three chickens. I wanted to get 12 or 15 chickens because if they weren't on sale again for a long time, I wanted to make sure I had plenty of chickens in my freezer. And uh, so I would think, oh, you know, it don't matter. I mean, I can just, you know, get as many as I want. But, you know, I couldn't just get 15 and put them in my cart because they would say, oh, you can only have three. But what I would do is I would take them. Oh, my goodness. Laura would get three, and Sandy would get three, and Dave would get three, and I'd get three, and we'd all get in different lines and act like we didn't know each other <laughs> and get our chickens. And, uh, I mean, I'm trying to be honest to God, but I mean, God was trying to teach me how to be honest, and I just didn't get it. And so I thought, well, you know, it doesn't really make any difference if we're, you know, we're all different. We're each one only getting three chickens. And then God said, no, three per family. You're all a family. Your family can have three chickens. I mean, I know this sounds stupid, but I can't tell you how bad I wanted them chickens. You know, I fought with God over not being able to get all the cheap chickens that I wanted. Well, one day I'm standing, now, you know, I'm teaching a Bible study in my home. I miss power for the hour. You know, got my Bible study. I mean, I'm going to be a world changer. And here I am now, you know, with these chickens in the grocery store. And one day we were there, and Laura was in the line over here, and she had three chickens. And I'm in this line, and I don't know where Dave was, but we all had our chickens. And all of a sudden, I thought, oh, my gosh, I don't think I gave Laura enough money for tax. And I thought, now, if I, if I try to give her more money, they may know that we're related. Sounds stupid, but don't tell me you don't. Because, see, I was doing something wrong, and so I was afraid I was going to get caught. And so little things that didn't even make any sense were frightening me. Like, well, what if she gets to say, Mom, I don't have enough money. They're going to know she's my daughter, and that we're getting more chickens than we should get. <laughs> so one, thing, one day we all made it through the line. They're bagging our chickens. And I felt a sigh of relief, and the Lord said to me, Congratulations, Joyce, you just stole three chickens. I <laughs> First time I told this story, I was in a church in Tennessee. Uh -oh. And the pastor was sitting on the platform right up here behind me. And when I told that story, that man came up out of his chair. He looked at his congregation. He looked at his wife. <laughs> He pointed at his wife and said, you've made me a thief. <laughs> he looked at his congregation and said, but it wasn't chickens. It was toilet paper and we were getting it from the church. <laughs> be an honest person since then, and I've learned that it is little things that make a big difference. A couple more stories and we're going to close. i got to tell you the last bite story. <laughs> it's really ridiculous the things that people argue and fight over. When Dave and I were pretty far along in ministry. We had our own ministry by now. We were traveling around preaching. And I had this thing about never wanting to order my own dessert because I didn't want to think I was eating dessert. So Dave would get dessert, and I would say I didn't want any, then I'd ask for some of his. And he was going to stop one day at McDonald's and get some hamburgers, and he said, now, Joyce, I'm really hungry, and I'm going to stop and get a couple of hamburgers. Do you want a hamburger? Because if you do, I will buy you a hamburger, but I really don't want you to eat mine today. And I said, oh, no, I'm not hungry. I don't know. I don't want anything to eat. So he got these two cheeseburgers, regular cheeseburgers. He got down to the very last bite of the second one. And I said, can I have just that last bite? Well, he blew up. I mean, it was out of character for him, but he got it. He said, I told you if you wanted something to eat, I would buy you something to eat every time you want mine. And now you like the last bite, and the last bite is the best bite. <laughs> Hamburger and he slammed 